a charity receives 20, 25 contributions. Contributions are assumed to be mutually independent and identically distributed with mean 3125 and standard deviation 250. Calculate the approximate 90th percentile of the distribution of the total contributions. So uh, whenever we have uh, a sample size more than 30, then uh, by central limit theorem, the distribution of the sum, as long as all the variables are identically distributed, which all these contributions are, and um, they are independent, then the mean of the sum, uh, is, for, first of all, the sum uh, is approximately normal, just normally distributed, no matter how the individual variable is. So the sum will be normal because in this case, the sample size is 2025, which is way more than 30. And so uh, that's the first thing that uh, the sum will be normally distributed. And then the mean of the sum will be uh, the mean of each of them multiplied by how many they are. So if there are N uh, variables, then the mean will be N times the mean of each. So there are 20, 25 variables here and each has mean 31, 25. So the mean of the sum will be uh, 20, 25 times 31, 25. And the standard deviation of the sum will be square root of N times standard deviation of each. So square root of 2025 times 250 because each has a standard deviation of 250. And now uh, to find the 90th percentile, uh, 90th percentile is that uh, value on the horizontal which has 90% probability below it. So basically this time the cumulative probability is 90%. And uh, from the table, we will first find the z-score corresponding to 90%. So now if we look at the table, uh, we see that um, so you look for 90% in the probability area. So we find that we have this 0 0.8997, which corresponds to 1.28. And then we have 0 0.9015, which corresponds to 1.29. So we don't have exactly the 0 0.9, but we have these two values that are on either side of it. So we note them. Okay, let's go back. So where is it? Okay. So uh, 0.8997 was corresponding to z equals 1.28 and 0 0.9015 to 1.29. Now, if, if you find that the answer choices are very widely separated, then you can just take the closer one. So obviously the 0.8997 is way closer uh, to the 0.9 than the 0.9015 is, and then you can just take z equals 1.28. But if you look at the choices here, some of them are pretty close to each other, like look at the first three. So therefore, uh, we use interpolation to get um, a more uh, exact value for Z. So uh, the way an interpolation is done is, okay, 0.9 is the value uh, we are after. So you do 0.9 minus the value, which is uh, the sh shorter one. So, and then divided by uh, the difference of the two values. So 0 0.9 minus 0 0.8997 divided by 0 0.9015 minus 0 0.8997. So this gives you 0 0.2. And that means that you have to go 0.2 of the distance between the two Z values. So you had 1.28 and 1.29 and 0 0.2 of the distance between these two will be 1.282. So that's your z value and then you use your standard formula z equals x minus mean over sigma. So we know the z, we know the mean, we know the standard deviation and this gives x to be this much. And uh, if you look at the choices, they are all rounded to the nearest thousands. So this one uh, to the nearest thousand would be six, three, four, 
three zero zero zero. So that is choice C.